Oh yeah, welcome back to KWPR. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name's Martin. And uh, nice to see you if you're new to the channel. Uh, if you're not and you're one of my long styling and standing subscribers, uh, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please just hit the little subscribe button down below. Helps me to help you for us all to have something to watch. And I'll keep going throughout the winter. I've uh, got a few little things planned, uh, interest things. Obviously the fish will be being put to bed for winter soon, but not just yet. Um, it's that time of year. So just down there, there's the bowl. And uh, just over there is me net and socks so i'm going to go grab that and it's time for the measure up alive yeah covid didn't quite get me nearly did oh dear me rough <laughs> yeah went back to work um i had the monday off uh head i just no way i could drive with the head i had the headache oh bad but yeah back to work tuesday straight out of france all the way down again marseille patrols uh, back up through the Alps to some timber place and then uh, back and get until Saturday morning again. But you've got to do what you've got to do to bring the pennies in. So, got my sock. Oh. Just going to show you a little. There you go. I've extended the handle, just a bit of old pipe. Uh, inch and a half drain pipe so obviously as you know I've got an in-ground pond and trying to sock trying to do the netting and socking by yourself um, it was a bit difficult but it's a lot easier if I'm extending the handle now so that's making life a little bit easier uh, the lovely lady wife was going to give me a hand but then she wants to make a crumble a nice uh, apple and raspberry crumble and more important make that so i can have that for my tea tonight so yes happy days anyway so got the nets got the sock uh gonna get them all out uh bar two i've already measured two i had to do um the adam barker haku for the grow and show results uh so dragged myself off from a sick bed and done that um last week so I'll include the footage of that and also at the same time I did get the uh, ISA shower that I got back in April, got that out and gave that a quick uh, video and a sort of quick measure up. I don't really sort of grab it and push it to the side, but the others I will do. They will come out as they fall into the net. Right, get the camera set up on the bowl and I'll speak to you in a minute. Nice and calm, good. Um, got the measurements inside. I can't remember what she was uh, when I measured her last year, but we'll get a measure now. Uh, just zoom out. Uh, gonna need a bigger bowl, to tell you the truth. Um, got my goggles on so I can see. But, Come on, girl. Push her in. Nose on the line. And we have got, so she is now 60 cm exactly. But absolutely scale perfect. I'm not gonna flip her all the way around. Yeah, not a problem there. Yeah, she is lovely. Yeah, really, really pleased. So she's 60 cm. I think off the top of my head, I think she was 50, 
53 or something like that i'll put the measurement up on the screen anyway what she was last time but she's filled out and uh looking really nice yeah really happy wouldn't mind showing her if i ever decided to show as long as she stays like that and keeps doesn't go the dirty orange that some yamabukis can go um she's three now so 60 cm three years old uh not to be sniffed at but nothing to get mega excited about but yeah very nice get her back in the uh get her back in the pond see who comes out next the next in the bowl is uh Hero the Shiro, or Mr. Stressy Knickers, as uh, he sometimes gets called. As uh, you look at him in the wrong way, he turns pink with stress. <laughs> Don't look at me. But as a Shiro at Surrey, he's uh, a nice fish. Um, maybe moving on, or hopefully moving on, to uh, my good friend Jeff from Just For Koi, once this new pond's up and running. Um, he's been away for a while. I'm sure everybody, of you, all of you know Just For Koi. Uh, but he's just started filming his new build at his new property. Get on across, have a look at that. Um, it's gonna be a mahoosive pond. Absolutely mahoosive. But I did say to him, I was thinking about moving this one on. And, um, you just show a bit of interest, so hopefully he'll take it. Uh, I said he, uh, I said Hero was about 55, I think it was 50 I think the last measure. Yeah, 50 cm the last measure. So we'll measure him up in a sec, have a check. Yeah, but like I said, this is normally my indicator if there's something wrong, because he does get a bit stressed out. But yeah. Second in class and size, I think it was at the Chattasoy photo show. So, not a bad Shiro. Served me well. And you got to remember these fish and that lot. I don't buy anything normally over 35 cm because I like to grow, grow them on, buy small, grow them on. So, you know, if I get a little bit excited at the sizes I've achieved, it's uh, because. Well, yeah, I'm excited, so let's uh, put him on, measure him up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely spot on 55. So that's not a bad shout then there for you, Jeff. Yeah, you must have stressy knickers. Come on. Clean underneath, look. Yeah. It's a nice fish. I regret moving it on, but uh, there's a few projects I want to have a go at. So he's definitely going to be moved on. Uh, if Jeff decides not to have him, I'll let you lot know and uh, tell you what sort of money I'm looking, which I think is reasonable. But yeah, so 55 cm. Happy days, so I've put 5 cm on this year and quite a good body on it so getting back get the next one out next in the bowl is patch and she can't turn around in the bowl as much as she's trying um yeah definitely have to get myself a meter bowl anybody want to buy me a christmas present i have a meter bowl please <laughs> <laughs> no um yeah not enough room to turn around body is brilliant um then he started coming back uh, did fade a little bit in the summer heat um, but started putting a bit of color food in it uh, coming back but she is a lovely fish absolutely lovely fish anyway let's get a measure Get them back as soon as possible. Um, not expecting huge growth this year, uh, just because of her age. 
and her size, but oh, that is some flaming chunk, girl. You are some chunk. Oh. So she is. Stop eating my finger. Well, the tape measure goes up to 66 and she's on the end of the tape measure so she's 66 just trying she's a big girl to flip over Whoa. no she is clean underneath though I saw there you silly girl right let's get her back in So next we have Kirsty, which is me, technically my granddaughter's fish uh, that I look after, feed, nurture, grow. <laughs> now, like I said, when, when we started the pond, we said we'd give the grandchildren a fish each, and Kirsty is my granddaughter's. And Spot, the Tancho Shower, is my grandson's. But yeah, free step. Uh, actually, won this fish in a uh, raffle, and uh, it's done really, really well. Benny um, isn't as red as what I'd like. Uh, I may go heavy, like I said, on the colour food next year. See if it brings it out a bit redder. I mean, it's not pale orange or anything like that, but it is on the more orange scale. Um, but still, beautiful fish. Um, can't remember what what the size was last measure up, so I'll look that up and obviously put that up on the screen. But we'll give her a measure up and uh, see how well she's done this year. She's, um, uh, I'd say she's looking on the 60 mark. Round about there. Yeah, round about the 60, 58 to 60 or so, but we'll measure up and have a look. Ugh, spin you around, sweetheart. I'll put my finger in front there. On the line, keep your nose on the line. Come on, keep still. Nose on the line. All right, calm down. I think that was 60. I've got to put my finger there so the nose goes on the line. The line doesn't go up to the end of the bowl. No, beg your pardon, she is 61. So 61. So she's had a good year. Pretty sure she has. Uh, at the end I'll talk about what I've been uh, feeding, how much I've been feeding this year. Um, obviously the heat's been going in on the air source heat pump, uh, but that's gonna be turned down, right down this year. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it at a nice stable eight or 10 degrees. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. Um, can't afford it. And uh, just being interesting to see if it, it makes any difference. Last year I kept them at 16, uh, but they were only getting fed uh, wheat germ twice a day, or sorry, shogun twice a day. Um, at about, only about 100 grams. Not a lot of food was going in at all. Um, but it kept them nice and healthy this year, obviously, with the price increases, turn that right down. Feed them if they're looking for it. Um, I've got sucky, sucky wheat germ uh, floating. Uh, as Shogun seems to be totally sold out throughout the UK at the moment, um, which is unfortunate. 
uh, did look at the Saki Akari um, all season, uh, but few people I know have used it said it's uh, rubbish. So if anybody out there has actually used the all season and doesn't think it's rubbish, uh, let me know. Tell me what your thoughts on it are. <coughs> Still got the hop. But yeah, right, we'll get Kirsty back and um, see who comes to the net next. Next one in is Sport, and as you can see, she's a bleeder. Uh, nothing to worry about, it's just blood from the gills. Um, it's a stress reaction, um, doesn't do any harm to them. So, if you've never netted or bowled fish before and you actually decide to do it to one of your fish and this happens, don't think you've cut them or anything like that. It's not, it's literally a stress reaction where they uh, let blood from the gills, but obviously. I'm going to have to change the water before I get any more in. So this is Spot. This is my grandson's fish. Although I was thinking about moving this one on as well. Obviously with permission from my grandson. On the basis of whatever I buy to replace it is his fish. Uh, he's only three so he'll probably say yes. But I was hoping this Sumi would develop a bit more on this one. Um, it's there in the right places, but it's just not coming through that inky black. It'll come through a bit more up here. If you look over to the, to the right of the picture, and you can see it all underlying there and there. But obviously with the lower temperatures that I'm gonna have in the pond this year, it may well come. So, I'll give it until the new season before I decide on uh, doing this. Anyway, let's get this measured up. I'll calm down now. And then we'll, I'll decide on whether I'm going to swap the water out and measure some more or leave that. But spin him round. Finger in front of the nose. Keep calm. Come on, sweetheart. I need to put my goggles on. God, them miles are raspy. 59. Not quite 60, 59. But again, some decent growth this year. Right, let's get him back in before he stresses out too much. So, here we have Amanda, who's the, uh, has been the biggest fish, and looking at uh, him, her, now, still, still is the biggest fish. Only just fits into the bowl, um, square on. A little spider or something floating around in the water. <coughs> uh, not expecting huge growth from the last time I had Amanda in the bowl uh, because she is into her just coming to the end of her third year so she's going into her fourth year but for a shower absolutely lovely step over give her a measure Bearing in mind the tank measure only goes up to 66. Finger in front and it's <laughs> oh, blue. come on over the tape measure. So I'm gonna do a guesstimate. Keep calm. 66. 67, I'd say. 67 cm. So, hopefully next year, if I stick with the same regime as what I had this year, 
or possibly try something slightly different. Uh, she'll break the 70 centimetre mark. Obviously the older the fish, the less, less they grow. They don't stop growing, but they don't grow as fast. You know, they don't put the uh, 70 <laughs> I'm still debating the sex on this. The gills are nice and smooth, but the orifice uh, that she has looks more like a male than it does a female. But we'll go with female. But yeah, lovely fish. Yeah, really pleased with that. So yeah, 67, 67 and a half maybe. I need a bigger bowl, definitely. Right, next one, right. Two in the bowl this time. Save a bit of time, because I'm out of breath. Um, Platinum Ogon, which is a New Forest Koi Platinum Ogon. Uh, it was just a little fingling I got for eight quid a couple of years back and a Goshki, which uh, was purchased online from Quenny Koi in uh, sort of like the online auctions they had last winter, uh, which I, I really like it. Trying to get it calm, let the, uh, let the sedate calm them down a bit. But I love my Goshkis. Not bad floating Benny on this one. Hopefully it'll float a bit more as it gets a bit older. Uh, not really going that dark, but not all of them do. Uh, and it's mainly in the winter when they go real dark. But it's a nice fish. I do like the Goshki. Platinum Ogon, that's up for grabs. So I'm moving that on. Um, lengthwise, it's not a bad size, but Body-wise, there just isn't a body to it as such. It's long, thin torpedo, male probably. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful fish, skin quality-wise and everything like that. Just nice and clean underneath. Forty-eight cm long, but that's up for grabs. You know, you know, skin quality is beautiful on it. It just doesn't seem to fill out any. And goshki, little bit of a. That's, that's not even a shimmy on it. Uh, so goshki, forty-eight as well. Uh, as a rule, go. Goshikis, Goshkis, however you want to say it, don't tend to grow to be very big fish. But he's a tidy example. Clean underneath. A little bit stressed at the moment, obviously. Right, get these two back in. And. Uh, <coughs> I think I'll only what have I got left? Uh, the Achiever. I don't think I'm going to bother with that this one this year. Uh, I might get. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think we might call that quits. So I might get uh, Chad the Chag out. Just have a little look at him. Make sure he's alright. He's never going to be a big chagoy, or should I say charatsuri. Still don't believe in charatsuri. I just think that's uh, something that breeders and dealers come up with to uh, get more money for what technically is a chagoy with um, uh, a skin marking on it. Uh, I know they're breeding them purposely now. I know some people uh, get a bit of a stiff lump in their pants over them. But all intents and purposes and like a lot of these new varieties are out there um, 
they're being found names for so they can uh, be sold specially and like I said as far as I'm concerned Chad is a chag but you get these two back in and like I said anybody interested in the uh, platinum logo on give us a shout uh, you have to come down and collect but it's uh, it's your you know at a reasonable reasonable agreement we can come to it's not going to cost a fortune but yeah all right get these back so in the bowl obi in the achiever uh i just love the uh patterning on this for an achiever really do uh, but I think it's Marmite uh, patterning um, when it comes to Gee, let's pull this back a bit try and get it out of the um, try and get it out of the light that's better so there you go lovely scalation lovely fish not huge unfortunately but not all fish do grow huge but I still think it's a lovely example and uh, let's try and get a measurement actually bigger than what I thought oh come on Come on, calm down. I think it was 57. Let's try again. It's just over 57. Happy days. But yeah, that's fun. As far as achievers go, he says. is a lovely fish all right so that's the cow into the bowl it's called the cow because she looks like a Frisian uh, Pancho Sankey um, took a punt on this one a couple of years back up at Connie Coy it had the Tancho spot uh, but no sue me on it whatsoever you could just see one patch of underline that was that piece just there just really faint and yeah I've been blessed um, good friend really likes this one the French Koi connection low thinks it's got a real presence in the pond As far as Tancho Sankey's go, I suppose it's not a bad one. Let's give it a measure. Come on. Come on. 53. I have no idea what it was the last time I measured it. But 53. So, looking for 60 next year, possibly. Don't think I'll get it. 53. Maybe 57, 58 towards the end of next season. If I still have it. Right, get it back. So, the last one in the bowl is the lump that we call Chad. Like I said, there's a Chad or he's never going to be a particularly huge one uh, 
but he's the daddy of the pond. Keeps everybody else nice and happy and calm. Uh, and like I said, as an example, he's not a particularly fine example, but he's just such a nice fish character-wise, uh, as most chags are. Uh, but he's put on a bit of body this year and a bit of size. Um, so he's obviously been getting the food that he really needs. Uh, but like I said, as a chag, he's never going to be a massive specimen. But as chags do, he's got a lot of shimmies on him. He's 60, 63. But like I said, he's got a lot of shimmies on him. But that's, chags do seem to pick him up for some reason. And I'm not particularly worried about trying to remove him or anything. He's not a show fish. I mean, you remember a while back he broke his leading ray. And that's just healed absolutely perfect. Not a problem on that. That big kisser. Uh, big kisser you got, in it, eh? Yeah. Quite an happy except crab sticks out of the hand. And like I said, he's not a fine example, but I love him. He ain't going nowhere. Like I said, he's the daddy of the pond. Right, I think I'm going to call that quits. I'm not going to put any bother getting any more out today. Um, got the filter clean to get on with. So I'll get him back and I'll talk to you in a minute. There he is. <coughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. As I said, I got COVID. So here's my Adam Biogro Joe. Uh, as you can see, quite chunky. I'll pick the camera up in a minute. Um, I'm just holding the camera there, so that's why I do the measurement. He's uh, a jumper when I was trying to net him. I think he banged the bottom of his chin on the bottom of the bloody decking. He flew that flaming high. Idiot. But, um, it's quite a chunk. I think he's done better than what I thought. Um, I didn't think he'd grown that much in length, but his body's so wide, it's sort of quite deceiving. Um, uh, I should do it properly and get his nose right at the end of the measure. Hold it. Come on, mate. Ooh, steady on, come on. So I've got 48. 48. Let's get it out. Lift it up, see if I can get the photograph side of it now. Video this. So, so as you can see, Benny is uh, held strong, quite superb. Get him to spin round so I can get the photograph. And I'll come out of the video. And just... <laughs> Sorry, fishy. Just for you, Chris. The uh, that's a shower, which is looking good. Gets a good body, putting on a bit of length. That was 16 cm when we got him back in April. Um, no, what was he? Just give him a rough measurement. About 40. Would you agree about 40? I reckon he's about 40. Rough measurement. He's another lively one. These young fish do tend to be a little lively. Put him down a minute. I'll 
shout it out. Forty-one, actually. So, come over to the garage for a minute. Um, I said, I don't know if you remember, I said um, I didn't get anything at the Kent show. Well, I did. Um, second hand, uh, I don't really need it. Um, nobody in Coizone needs it. So what we thought we might do is on the next Coizone Live, yes, there will be one coming soon, now winter's coming. Um, we'll either do it as uh, sort of like a giveaway or a raffle to raise money for Help for Heroes. Um, so just show you what it is. It is an Ultra Civ 2, fully working. Uh, it has got the lid, the lid's in the boot of the car at the moment. But yeah, it's fully operational. The float goes up and down all right. Sid's all there. So it's got a little side outlet there, uh, two inch, which is extra that uh, the person who had it before wanted. Obviously the return waste and you've got one inlet that is open, one inlet that's capped. All you've got to do is just cut the cap off if you want two inlets. But yeah, for, for the price of probably what's going to be a raffle ticket, Ultra Sift 2. Uh, brilliant pieces of kit you know not yeah it looks huge here but yeah keep your eyes out on koi zone live and uh if you're interested then whatever we come up feel free to enter so sorry about the digression uh, but i thought i'd uh, show the little ultrasive 2 that we picked up and what we're planning on doing with it so hopefully it'll be a nice little uh little thing for somebody if it all comes off anyway so um yeah i'm not done too bad this year growth wise um i'll let you make your own minds up on whether you think i've done okay or not um but i think i've done not too bad but um i suppose how did i achieve what results i got this year um three main things really uh Filtration and water quality, that's class as one, obviously. Um, heat, which is um, quite an important one, really. Uh, once the ambient temperatures came up, uh, I tracked them with the air source heat pump, uh, took it up to 24 and kept it there for the whole of the season. Um, I don't think it really went much above 24 to tell you the truth even when we had the extreme heat that we did i don't think the pond actually went higher than 25 uh, just because where it's situated in the garden um so the or heat pump played a important role in sort of like keeping it sort of nice and uh nice and toasty for them in that growing range of about 24 degrees if i pushed it 25 26 i might achieve a bit more growth and the third and final thing is um, food and lots of good quality food. Um, little thing I wrote down here. Put me seeing goggles on. I was just trying to work out how much I actually got through. So going from sort of like about April, um, I started off, I had five kilograms of uh, JPD Shogun and uh, JPD Shori which was mixed together. Shogun, I tend to feed throughout the winter when I can get it. Absolute nightmare at the moment, but yeah. So uh, so once I'd used that 10 kilograms up, um, I went 10 kilograms of uh, shori, brought 10 kilograms of shori on its own. Uh, had that for a week or two uh, before I got my hands on some, um, on five kilograms of uh, sake akari uh, sinking growth. Uh, only went with a sake because JPD don't do a sinking growth. JPD, get your finger out. Um, let's use that. Then I went another five kilograms of shori. Uh, and then added uh, two kilograms of red to that. So five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So 
about 32 kilograms of food uh, I got through and technically is this, is that enough or is that too much some people will say it's not enough some people will go oh my good god how much but um, that's what I've used this year um, up to now uh, so yeah I've got the growth yeah some of it's pretty good some of it's average but I think I've done all right I'm happy with it and I've not got the biggest of puddles like I said everybody knows it, it looks quite small just under, like I said, it's just under 10,000 litres yeah I'd love to go bigger but modern gardens being modern gardens just ain't got the space but anyway hope you enjoyed that hope you enjoyed seeing all the fish one by one in a bowl it's sometimes more interesting to see them in the bowl than it is in the pond so I will be keeping on going throughout winter lots of things planned but I'm going to leave you there for now and like I say look after yourselves uh, hope the weather can stay nice and warm for a little bit longer so we can enjoy our ponds a little bit more all right everybody stay safe remember in a hobby it's a lifestyle